How's it going guys? I'm not sure if I'm going to do this video this way or not. I'm actually uh, running a couple of errands. You see us another beautiful day here in lovely Northeast Ohio. I want to do my two month review on Uber Eats. When uh, Uber Eats first came around, it, it didn't start in our market until I think November 9th, November 11th of uh, 2017. And I always said that is something I am never going to do. I am way too old to be a pizza delivery boy. But once it came to our market, I figured I would give it a try mainly because we weren't an original market where tips weren't included. And I kind of figured since it's new here and you didn't have that, you know, Uber keeps saying don't tip, don't tip, don't tip maybe people would actually tip. Uh, so I decided to give it a try. There were a couple of rules that I kind of stick to. I never have and should never say never, but I don't see myself ever wanting to do a pickup at a McDonald's. Uh, I made another video earlier, uh, I'll see if I can uh, link to it in this video, on how to avoid the McDonald's Uber Eats request. So it's been a couple of months. I'll go through the uh, pros and the cons. The cons are people still don't always tip. This is one, you know, I'm going to say this and hopefully it won't get people all upset. But personally, I don't think things are racist if they are just if they are true. A lot of my black clients don't tip kind of bugs me. It just feeds right into the stereotype of black people don't tip. Not all. I never say all. But if I'm going by the percentage of uh, my African American customers, I think it's 60-70% probably won't tip. Maybe even a little bit higher. And I, I don't get that. It just, like I said, increases the stereotype that black people don't tip. Uh, but overall, I would say 65 70% of my Uber Eats I get tips on. So that has made a big difference to uh, why I do it. But that is one of the cons is not everybody's going to tip. And it's really hard to not get frustrated when that doesn't happen. You kind of have to go in with attitude of like when you're doing a regular Uber ride. Okay, some of these Ubers aren't going to tip. Uh, that's the biggest con. The second con is you will get a lot of McDonald's requests, but fortunately, you know, your acceptance rate doesn't matter. Uh, once again, I'll try to link to the video that how I get around that. Those are my two biggest cons. Uh, the pros are, well, there is a con that, of course, you know, it is Uber, so if you have a little short pickup, I had one the other day, it was my shortest ride ever. So our, it was like literally, uh, I think it said 300 feet. It was like the restaurant, an apartment, and the next apartment. That's why I did the different. I went in and looked at my pay. The mileage rate I got was five cents. I got the pickup delivery fee, so it was 285. Black customer didn't tip, no figure. Um, as far as that, that's one of the cons. That that's one of the cons is the pay isn't great. The other con is. There's no uh, time for your drive. You get your pickup fee, you get your drop-off fee, you get your mileage, but you don't get time. That's a big con. Another big con is sometimes the food isn't ready. But you know, it, it's like an Uber passenger. If you sit around and you wanna wait 10, 15, 20 minutes, well, that's your fault. Uh, when I get there, if the food isn't ready, I put food not ready. I'll give it about five minutes. If it's not ready, I'm leaving. I, I got, you know, time is money. So those are the biggest cons is the pay sucks. Not everybody's going to tip. You don't get paid for your mileage. And it seems like there was something else. The pros. Just like Uber, I do it when I want to do it. That I like. Um, since it's new in our market, Akron, Ohio, like I said, about 60-70% of the trips, you might get a tip, which is nice. Uh, I like the fact that 
Like if you can see the back of my car right now, the other day I was doing Amazon Flex. So I have my uh, sheet up in the back to protect my back seat. So you don't have to worry about passengers in your car. I got no stuff in my seat. My car is kind of dirty right now. That's a pro. You don't have to worry about if your car isn't clean that day. If you don't feel like dealing with people, you don't really have to deal with people. I mean, it's like you deal with the people you go in, you drop their food off, and that's basically your interaction dealing with people. So you get in your car, you don't have to worry about what music you're playing, you don't have to worry about if you're saying anything somebody might be offended by. That part I like, I basically just about stopped doing Uber X rides and I've just been doing Uber Eats. So, so overall, I like it. I'm, I'm surprised because it was something I said I would never do. The other day, I made $26 in tips. Uh, I think I made $81 for the day. It was on a Sunday. Uh, I don't think I would have made that doing Uber X rides in the same amount of time. It was a lot of time, but I'm one of those people I don't consider if I'm sitting in my car or I'm sitting at home with my app on. If I'm not doing anything to me, I'm not working. So you might see all these hours and oh but you're only making so much an hour yeah but i'm not doing anything i'm sitting on my ass listening to the football game on the radio but that's how i look at it that's just me personally everybody has their own way of looking at things overall it's been really good for me so i would definitely recommend it uh, things i highly recommend though it's all about location 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 you have to know where the decent restaurants are and be close to them. It works out for me. There's a Piata restaurant that's a three minute drive from where I live. So I get a lot of requests from there. There's also McDonald's three minutes from where I live. I get a lot of requests from there. I don't take those. The way I look at it is just like any restaurant. If you work at a four star restaurant as opposed to working at just throwing Bob Evans out there because their prices aren't high. It's a great restaurant. But you're going to get more tips. Around me, there's a Piata restaurant, which isn't expensive. There's a Melt, which is a uh, little bit pricey. And there's this little uh, Chinese carryout place. So I kind of figure I'm probably going to get more tips from Melt because they're a more expensive restaurant. It's a restaurant. So I would recommend it. Give it a try if you haven't already. Uh, location 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 I personally won't do the McDonald's run just because I kind of figure if somebody's ordering for McDonald's they're probably not going to tip so that's my two month review uh, maybe in another couple of months I might have a different opinion I would like to know what you guys think and I really would like to know about the tips I, it's so hard in this country now for something to not sound racist Maybe it's just my experience with my African-American customers. I see them get fewer tips. If you're watching this on my YouTube channel, especially if you're another driver, don't worry, I won't be offended. But I would like to know, how do your tips work? I mean, I've been to some, it's just like Uber, where, you know, drop off food at a million dollar house and, you know, barely get a thank you. I've dropped off some at these run down, looking apartments and I'll get a five dollar tip you know so all right guys I'm just kind of rambling at this point uh, once again thanks for everybody that subscribed to my channel it's really starting to grow a little bit please like comment subscribe get out there and make that money guys